Hi, Derek, the beekeeper here, just coming to talk to you about another video on honey. And uh, what exactly about honey is, uh, is so important, the type of honey you get? Well, here's a few things, and I just want to make this a quick video, so I'm just going to rattle off a bunch of things that are really important for honey. Again, uh, I'm at abellabees.com. Uh, click the, the shop button if you want to check that out. Basically, what it is with honey is you have a lot of considerations to take into account, okay? Where your honey comes from. Uh, was it superheated? Was it pasteurized? And also, what were the bees feeding on? Uh, these are a few things you want to consider when you're buying honey. So you can buy honey in the store. It has all kinds of different, you know, special little things. Uh, whipped honey and uh, can't believe it's not honey. I know that one doesn't exist, but uh, there are some alternatives to honey out there, which are actually kind of nonsense. But anyways, uh, and then there's also the honeys that are uh, basically, you know, all different flavors and different colors, things like that. All that, all that means is basically there's honey that is filtered a certain way. There's honey that's pasteurized a certain way. And there's where the bees are eating, what they're eating off of. So you have citrus that they're feeding off of. You have almond trees, you have mesquite. I'm just going to deal with Arizona out here in Arizona. Pretty much you're going to get citrus and, uh, mesquite. And there's also flowers, things like that. So it's it all depends on the time of the year which is cool because then you have the time of the year and that flavor of honey comes out. Uh, but then you also have some beekeepers who will keep their bees on specific crops, which I really don't agree with and I don't really do that myself. So you can go and those are the beekeepers you see with bees along sides of the, the freeway. That's fine. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal, but I personally don't do it because I like to have my bees have a variety of foods when they eat. So that's something to consider with the flavors. Um, you will still get flavors because obviously there's certain types of uh, like out here, there's citrus. You can see all is behind me. But basically, you'll get certain flavors at certain times of years because of the blooms. For instance, the citrus are blooming at different times of year versus the mesquite. So then I want to touch on pasteurization. Uh, if you are getting honey that's super heated, you're losing a lot of benefits from that. And the reason for that is, is because it's just like anything else in the store that you'd want to get and why raw milk and things like that are so popular and why getting raw things versus pasteurized is a, is a big deal right now. It's because you're losing all the beneficial microbes. That being said, it's the same thing with honey. There are certain beneficial microbes that you can be getting from the honey versus stuff that's pasteurized. Honey is going to last uh, pretty much. Uh, people have said it's an internal food. It lasts forever. So it's pretty much going to last a long time anyways. So you might as well get the stuff that has all the beneficial microbes, things like that in it. Uh, that being said, there's certain degrees. You don't want to heat, heat it past and, uh, the last thing I want to touch on, again, this I want to try to keep this quick and it's, it's going a little longer than I expected, but basically you also want to get the honey that has, again, I talked about the type of food they're eating, uh, pasteurization, okay, and then you also want to make sure that you get honey that is, um, how do I say, it's basically getting good a good food source. So if you're getting food, uh, the bees are getting food that has been sprayed with pesticides and all kinds of junk like that, that kind of stuff is going to get into the honey. Also, what are they eating? Are they eating sugar? Me, myself, personally, I wanted to get away from processed sugars. So I was getting away from, you know, table sugar, white sugar, uh, you know, and then there's levels of how good the sugar is because of the different nutrients in it. And we're talking about regular cane sugar type stuff. You know, there's turbinado sugar, there's, you know, brown sugar, uh, there's molasses. So there's all that kind of stuff. Basically though, with the bees, are they getting the sugar, that type of sugar water? Are the beekeepers feeding them that? Cause most likely it's cheap and it's real easy to give them the real cheap white sugar. They're consuming that. That's the stuff you see. If you ever YouTube any of the videos, you got the sugary water there and they're sucking that all up right in the honey. That's going right into the honey. Okay. So are they getting that stuff and then turn around and selling that to you? Guess what? If you're buying honey from shipped from China and other places like that, which a lot of the stores are selling that kind of stuff. You're getting honey that has a lot of that sugar you're trying to avoid anyways. Um, it's still better than obviously the, the actual form of it, but you're pretty much just getting a real cheap version of honey. And guess what? You're spending a lot more money for it. So, you know, I personally think you need to get just bees that are fed on a good variety of foods. They've been able to forage. They've pulled the honey from somewhere where there's not a bunch of pesticides and stuff like that sprayed on their field. My, my apiary is way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the closest my, uh, city is about 30 miles away. So the bees usually fly in a five mile radius. They're not going to get that pesticide laden food and stuff like that. They're not getting sugar here, the sugary water. Um, 
you know, they're not getting uh, pasteurized and things like that. And uh, so those are all things you want to, oh, and they're, again, like I said, they're getting a variety of foods. Um, so those are all things I want to touch on in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, go check out the shop, like I mentioned. Uh, more videos to come.